Celsius, can you please bless this Pokemon card booster box right here? Because ladies and gentlemen, we have the greatest Pokemon card set release of 2022 so far. I mean, granted, it's not that hard to have the best set release so far this year, but look at this. This is insane. It is the brand new Pokemon card set, Pokemon Sword and Shield, Brilliant Stars, and it's sent straight from the Pokemon factory by Pokemon themselves. So thank you again for sending this one out. I am beyond excited to crack open, like... I don't even know where to start. So I think we're just going to open it up and I'm going to talk through the set with you guys. But on the front, it's the man, the myth, the legend. It's Arceus himself. He's got a video game out right now, which I am loving to pieces. Then, <sighs> I don't know. It's a hand-drawn Charizard. And like, not only in the set, is there a rainbow rare Charizard to try and find, which is part of a new set of card called a V-Star. But there is also a golden Arceus for us to track down. An alternate art Charizard. And guys, it gets even crazier. All the Galarian birds have gold full art cards. And then it gets even crazier. The Urshifus have gold cards as well. And then they said, you know what? Not only is all of that going to be enough, we're going to put something else in this set. So, oh, look how nice that looks. All of the silver and gold. I'm getting platinum vibes, guys. I don't know about you, but they thought... Cosmic Eclipse was really fun when we put a subset of character rares in there. So we're going to do that again. So there is so much to get in this set. There is so much going on. But ladies and gentlemen, let's get into our first ever Brilliant Stars Booster Pack opening. If you're excited, please demolish the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. We're going to have so many more of these uh, pack openings coming up. Man, look at Arceus just pointing out right there. But without further ado... Obviously the first pack, it's going to be a Charizard, and let's dive straight into it. I'm low-key kind of terrified, like, because I don't know what to chase for, so I'm worried, like, if you get a certain hit, you'd be like, oh, I want the other one, but to be honest, I think there's so much to get that it doesn't matter. Every hit's going to be fun. Okay, there's the first code guard. Now, this is a couple of weeks before the set officially comes out, so I don't know if you can catch that one in just yet, but definitely pause the video, save it on a tab, and come back to it on release day. But... Let's do it. This right here, look at the explosion on the energy. It's our first ever booster. So, this is a very, very popular set. People are literally coming back to the TCG because they're so excited for it. And Uncle Lando is all here for it. So, there is a lot of hand-drawn artwork going on. Chime Echo. Got a Chimcha. What is our first pull going to be? Got a Minchino. Reverse Cheruby. And the first hit of Brilliant Stars! Is going to be a regular rare Manaphy hopping along the pink water right there. Okay, so let's open up a nice hand-drawn Shaman artwork right here. Gosh, let me know in the comment section. Is there a particular card you were like over the moon you're hunting for and that's the one you want to get? I think a lot of people want the rainbow rare V-Star Charizard. But I'm not, I'm not going to be greedy. I think in my first ever box, right? Why is there always a bit of damage on the code card? It's a bit weird. But I think in my mind, if I could just get a V-Star Charizard full stop, like I don't care if it's the Rainbow Rare, whatever, just a regular one, V-Stars are awesome, and I think I'm going to start collecting them. This is a set I would love to have a full binder of, but look at that, 172 cards in the main set, and that's not even including the, like, secret rares and the character rares, which is a whole nother set. Haxorus Reverse, and then, oh, Tornadus! Shout out to my boy, Love Thunderous. He's going to be like in way more sets, so the fact Tornadus gets in there, I'm loving life right now. Blasting Wind with 100. Okay, back to the hand-drawn Charizard. Two boosters in, nothing just yet. Might have to speed this up. I always go so slow on my first ever box opening, so I'm like such a big fan of the uh, hand-drawn artwork, and when a set like this is... Yo, what the flip is that? I opened that normally, didn't... That was totally normal, wasn't it? Okay. Oh, so... There's a V-Star logo. I think I've read something like this. So instead of an energy, you get a V-Star card, which is just like a pamphlet advertisement thingy. I'm guessing this is something to do with the competitive, but we get that inside the booster. So that was in place of the energy, right? Swing it around, get this. And then if we go to the end, I'm gonna power, oh, this is a full art card I want so bad, friends in Gala. Anyway, if we go right to the end, because we got that V-Star tab, look at this. Oh, I swear, because you got the V-Star tab, it gave away that you were going to get a V-Star at the end. Maybe not. That's a regular rare Lapras. Okay, interesting. I was pretty confident about that one. Hmm, that was pretty rare. 
<laughs> you saw that, right? That was a V-Star logo, like, advertisement in our booster box. I thought that because it replaced the energy, it gave it away. Now, if you notice, this has a black border on the code, so let's find out if we get something with a black border this time. Or have they fixed the issue? We're gonna find out today, guys, but literally, this is my first ever- I swear, first ever time I've looked at the set, first ever time we've seen, uh, everything going on here, and... I'm discovering it with you guys. Got a... regular rare, or do you reckon it's gonna be hit? Rosanna, back up, and then... Oh, okay, regular V hit, it's Luminion right there, as our V, as our regular one. Look at that, Aqua Return with 120. So it looks like the Black Border Codes are uh, back to giving away if it's gonna have a hit or not. But I'll take a regular V as our first hit on that booster box. Got an Arceus right there. Okay, let's open up Arceus. Surely he's gonna have some good hits. Look at that. Claymation cards are returning, got the Staryu, and we got another Black Border. Okay, let's do another trial run right here. It also feels like the energies are bigger. I don't know, like, they don't really fit in my hand as well as the other cards. They literally feel like they're cut wider. Anyway, weird, uh, <laughs> weird thing to point out. I don't know why you guys watch me unbox Pokemon cards. I literally have the weirdest commentary. Got a Sock, got a Vimbrava Reverse, and a Holo! Is that Holo different? Is it just me or does it look a bit different? It looks more shiny on my end. Maybe it's the light hitting it different, but that is cool. Okay, Professor's Research Holo card, and it looks pretty decent. Man, I don't- okay, I'm getting excited over the hollows. Didn't expect that one. Bit of a slow burn on the start of the booster box, but I'm almost guaranteed this set can't be a slow burn. Like, there's gotta be some heat in there, just because of the depth of the ridiculousness if you're trying to collect every card. Oh, I love the colors they use on these boost packs, so it definitely gets me excited. Reminds me of that Platinum Era with the Arceus, and coming off the video game, 100% these energies are cut wider than normal cards. Look at that. It just, I don't know, it just doesn't fit my hand correctly. I don't know why. Anyway, I'm very excited because I just like, I'm playing a video game right now, uh, and it's so much fun. So to have a card release around that video game era, it's awesome. Got a star you and a Luxray. Shout out to Luxray, got him in my party. Thunderfang saves the day all the time. Come on, Charizard. Do you reckon there's a guaranteed Charizard per box? Maybe just a regular V Charizard or something? That would be pretty wild. There's another code card. Hopefully you guys are getting good stuff. I want to get another one of those V markers. Got a fire type. Morgrim. Got a Claydol. Axu. Impidimp as well. Magma. Stunning artwork, by the way. I love that one in Japanese. Fermi. Dideni. And a Haxorus as the regular rare. All right, Whimsicott. So Whimsicott comes as a V-Star as well, but... I mean, I'm going to say it. I don't... Uh, it'd be cool to have a V-Star in general, but I don't really want Whimsicott as the V-Star. Give me Shaman, give me like a Charizard, something like that. Oh, had a Pimplup and a Grotel in the same pack, and a Monferno! Three starters, one pack! Guys, what do you reckon? Is our luck gonna turn around? Are we gonna start getting Kling Clang right there with the awesome artwork? We're gonna start getting some good hits. Might have to clear the table up with all these uh, cards everywhere. Oh, snap! Oh, snap! It's a Black Border and I saw some shine! Yep, okay, here we go. We got the heat starting it off. Fight type. Bear tick as well. Collapse Stadium. Grima. Sneasel. Everyone ready? Bido. Electabuzz. Got the Chime Echo. Team Yolchir. Ah, oh, no way! No way! No way! No way! Holy Archimova in West Virginia! Are you serious? There is no physical way that actually has happened to my first ever box. Oh my god. No way, it is, I kid you not, it is 8 in the morning and the neighbours are calling the police. I'm going to upload this from, like, prison. I'm going to jail. Oh my god, that shouting was ridiculous. I can already hear people downstairs complaining. Oh my gosh, no way I did that. I just pulled, I think this is one of the rarest cards in the int. <sighs> No, <laughs> demolish the like button. I'm so I hand in my heart. You saw what happened just there. We just pulled the Charizard V alternate artwork. Is that the rarest card in the whole set, or is it Rainbow Rare Charizard V Star? Let me know if you know down in the comments. I'm generally, I'm curious. I'm gonna throw up. Oh okay. god. Oh my gosh. Look at the texture on this card. Look at it, dude. And then look at what's going on on the card. Charizard V alternate artwork versing a Venusaur in like the Himalayas. 
Dude, as if that happened. I'm sorry. We'll move on. I can't believe I just did that. That's the, that's the card everyone's chasing. I swear. That's the card people will do chase for like the Charizard. That's the card people will open like blister packs over. My god. <laughs> it's another black border code, by the way. Is this the... I'm hands down going to say it right now. This is the greatest Pokemon card set in a hot minute. Like, I, there's so much to chase, right? So even though we got that card, there is still plenty for us to try and go and get. But what in the Aunt Jemima is that? Sock and then... Oh, what the... Zerud V's in the set. That wasn't in the Japanese one, was it? It definitely wasn't, I don't think. Whoa, Leap to Leap and Jungle Rage with 120. Can I like get a can I get a round of applause in the comment? This set is awesome. I'm pretty sure there's a Pikachu fuller and a Raichu fuller as well to get. Bro, okay, another V hit. Slow start, but let's uh let's be honest. This box has come out in a major way. I'm also just trying to keep my ear out if uh, the police show up because if I was the neighbors, I would have think someone's getting murdered. I must <laughs> Being a neighbor to Ando is going to be the weirdest experience ever. You hear that yelling at 7 in the morning? Like, what do you think? Do you call the police? And what do you say? He just pulled a Charizard? Anyway, Magma, got a Riolu, Burmy as well, got a throw, Motham. There's so many of those Mothams, isn't there? I'm in an area right now in, uh, I don't know if that's a spoiler, in the new Arceus game, but there's heaps of Mothams. <laughs> I won't say anymore, just in case. But yeah, I, oh, they're everywhere. Alright, there's a the black border. Upside down. Good luck. Solving that one. Black border. And we get one of these advertisements again. What do they mean? Do you reckon we got something? Let's go three. I'm just going to go three because I think if that was in the energy slot, we'll put that to the side. Yeah, that makes sense. Hitmonsop. Gibble. It trips me out. I'm so not used to that. I'm used to always guaranteed energy. But I... Oh, wow! Character rare. So this is our first character rare and isn't it gorgeous? I love this Alcremia. Very special. When I got it in Japanese, I was over the moon. As you can see, this set's a combination of actually quite a few Japan sets, but wow. Alcremia character rare. Gorgeous, but you... Oh, no way. A holo in Infernape. So it looks like you can get a holo. So you could probably even get a full art card and a character rare, which is sick. Okay. Alcremia is the character rare. Gorgeous. I love this. Very cute. Special artwork. Wouldn't this be really nice as like if it was blown up and you put it in your lounge room? And then you got Infernape as the holo. Dude, this box is sick. This whole set is awesome. Let's keep it going. I can't believe we got that Charizard. I'm... Oh, and I'm opening this. I think, um... <laughs> I'm opening this a couple days before I'm allowed to actually upload the video. So I have like, I can't tell anyone about that. <laughs> it's just like, it's a secret that I've got to hold until uh, whenever I'm... Uploading this video. I'm dying inside. Got a throw. Got a star you. Burmy. Sock. Lucario. Nice. There's going to be a lot of a lot of happy people, isn't there? Like Lucario is in the set. Tornadus is in the set. Man, I'm very, very happy. Okay, Shaman as well. Now, I think we... Okay, we've got the character rare. Got the alternate art. Got a V here. Got a holo here. Can we get a V star? That's generally... I mean, I've got the advertisement... From it, can I just get a regular V star here? I want to see what they look like. I love these exploding energies though. Barry, everyone loves Barry. Clang, Shinx, Impidimp, got the Golurt. Oh my gosh, this opening's been bananas. Chimchar, and a Golurt. Okay, Charizard, bro, you've been so nice to me. I, I don't want to press you into saying Rainbow Red V star, but just a general V star would be nice. These are all upside down. Oh well, adds a little, uh, adds a little bit of a challenge for everyone trying to cash in those codes and especially everyone that's like bookmarked this video and coming back to it on release date to cash them in online. There's your challenge. Okay, Shroomish, Pimplop, Impotent Reverse. Starting to double up, which is interesting. I wouldn't have thought it's too easy to double up, especially with a set this big, but it looks like it's happening. And we got the white code again. All right. Why? Is there... Is there a reason, or is those just randomly inserted into booster packs? If someone could let me know in the comments as well, I'd love to find out a bit more information. I don't know how much you guys would know, but maybe you've read an article that I haven't. I'm pretty sure they're just randomly inserted by the looks of it, yeah. So it looks like those are randomly inserted, and I'm guessing you use them for competitive play, so that's why they're needed in there. Just like an energy card's included in the booster, you know, use that for competitive play, but... 
once you collect it, you've collected it. I'm guessing that's the same reason. Okay, I think this is something, guys. Metal type. Got the choice belt. Blood Soul. Star Ravia. Denny, Farfetch'd, got the Dust Skull, Grimer, Shinx, Nose Pass, and another Full Art card! This is our second one of the Booster Box, it's Kindler Trainer Full Art! Wow! This is insane, the fact we're getting this many hits, it's crazy down right now. Kindler, very common I think in the Japanese release, like I know it was a bit of a meme if you are pulling this card, but hey, it's my first box guys. And I've already pulled the Charizard. Like, I'm not in the area to complain about hits at all. Wow. We're going to train a full lot as well. I wasn't expecting another full lot. I thought this set was going to jip us a little bit, but I am so wrong. Okay, so two full lots out the regular set. I'm very curious how many character rares we're going to get. Because at the moment, doesn't it seem like character rares are really rare? Or like they're harder to pull? Which, by the way... I was listening to a few people have a few conversations about the set and they were low-key hoping that character rares were going to be more difficult to pull because it adds like, it adds more oomph when you pull the character rare because I think they were too common in Cosmic Eclipse and everyone completed the character rare set so fast that they're like, oh, there wasn't any challenge in completing that. But if they make the character rares more rare, when you get one, you're like over the, you're like, wow, this is awesome because like not many people have them. It's like getting a full art card, Spirit Zoom. Ah, uh, Shaman, he looks kind of tripped out, like he's wearing mascara or something. What the flip? Okay, hand-drawn Shaman right there. I will take it. I love when they look a bit goofy, and that looks really nice. Oh, Shaman, you legend. This is so cool. It's got a really nice gloss, doesn't it? The V-card's got really, like, cool gloss over them at the moment. Revenge Blast with 60. All right, put you at the back. The hits are crazy. This is a regular booster box. If we compare this to maybe, like... A Chilling Rain, a Battle Styles, something like that. Do you remember? Like, we didn't get that many hits out of it. I just remember, like, maybe getting one Fuller and four V cards. Maybe a V Max, two V Maxes if we're lucky. I mean, compare that to right now, this opening you are currently witnessing. Holy Aunt Jemima. It's insane. That's bananas. <laughs> I'm blown away. Like, the pull rates are much better. Okay, Gibble, Starmie, and everyone's favorite for regular rare. Let's finish off this side. I'll clear up this, and then we'll finish off the remaining packs. It's going to be so sad finishing this and knowing the set doesn't come out for two weeks. Like, I've got to wait another couple of days. Uh, that's all right. Fighting type to start things off right here. What are you predicting? Are you reckon, like, two more character rares? Because that's what I reckon. There should be at least two more character rares, because that's a whole subset. Shroomish, Pimplup, got the Hunting Gloves, and an Electrive and Magmortal on the same card. Alright, Brilliant Stars. Let's go. Love that the hand-drawn booster box is looking the way it is. Stunning stuff. It's one you want to display. And I think that's key, like, you don't want to buy a booster box and chuck out. Because when I bought my first ever booster box, Plasma Freeze, I kept that thing for years. And I reckon I still got it in the cupboard now I think about it. It's like, because it's an occasion. And I think, like, because booster boxes are so much money, you're like, you should be able to keep it. And, like, if it's a good-looking booster box like this one, you will keep it. Oh, it's a holo Garchomp. I'm getting a lot of holos right now. Final pack. It doesn't actually fast me. It doesn't look like we are. Uh, but, yeah, again, look at that. Look at the... Rem That's a lot of boosters to finish off this video. <laughs> this is going to be a special treat, and I'm not going to divide it. I'm going to just upload this in one go. So, please stick around. I hope this video doesn't go for too long and... You've got the time of day to watch it, but it's very special. Oh my gosh! So you could just pull a character rare on a white code card by the looks of it. Oh! If you're gonna get one, let it be Eevee. Am I right? Oh my gosh. This is the greatest box ever. If I had any juice left in me, I'd be into the Pikachu. Look at that. Eevee character rare. It's gorgeous. The artwork might even be better than the full art cards. What do we got behind you? And a Flygon. That's actually a nice card. Wow. Jeez, this is so much fun. Okay, BRB for like one second while I clean this mess up. And just like that, guys, Uncle Ando is back. And I'm ready to absolutely demolish the final lot of boosters right here. All right, brilliant stars. I am in love, by the way, if you couldn't tell already. Over the moon. I'm very curious. What do you guys think about this set? Are you excited? Is this a set you're returning to the TCG? Maybe you've taken a bit of a break from collecting... Uh, you went financially bankrupt from all the collecting you're doing last year, which I totally get. Celebrations was a lot of uh, a lot of fun and a lot of products, so this would be a fun one to return to, I reckon, because it's like not just one set. You're getting a two for one deal. 
There's a lot of areas where you can get a hit by the looks of it. Because you could... Oh, look at that. Okay, Torterra with the holo card. Absolutely gorgeous the way they've done these holos. So let's put you at the back as well. But yeah, I don't know. I think a lot of... um. A lot of potential to get some good stuff. Whether, whether it be a brand new V-Star is what you're chasing because you like the, the new V-Star stuff. Maybe you like the Rainbow Res. Maybe you like the Character Res. The V-Hits. The Alternate Arts. Or maybe even just the Gold Cards. You're a sucker for the shiny Gold Cards. So, which by the way, I, there's actually like, there's a whole group of people that only collect Gold Cards. Like, that's the whole reason they got into the, what was that, Legendary Treasures back in the day? And that's all they're after. I know, like, one of the top searches on YouTube is Unlisted Leaf Gold Card. So, I know there's a lot of Gold Card fans in there. So, that's pretty funny. Execute. Pimplot Reverse. And then... Oh, Dracovish has a V card? Luminion. Okay, that's random. I'm all for it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Dracovish has a V card, guys. And, wow, we're still pulling V cards. This is awesome. It is a gorgeous, like, computer-generated artwork. There is a really, really nice mix of hand-drawn... CG, awesome. Draco Vish, V card. There you go. Oh my gosh, I reckon I saw some shine. And I'm hoping it wasn't a reflection. I think it might be a character rare. <sighs> okay, come on. Give me another Eeveelution. Give me like a, the Flareon or like the Vaporeon. Cast form. Nah. Oh, it's going to be in the reverse slot. So you know when you see that reverse, that pimp up right there, we weren't going to get anything. That's okay. I do believe we're going to have one more, one more uh, character rare. So, what I like about this set as well, it's kind of like Vivid Voltage in the fact that when you get that white border, it's not the end of the world. You know you're not really going to get that V-Star unless there's an error. You're not going to get like an alternate art fuller card, but you do have the potential to get that character rare because those ratios mean nothing. Oh! No way! I am literally clocking out. Goodbye. I'm like, I'm going to move, move country. I just pulled the Flareon. Dude, look at this. So there's the let drive right there. I'm shaking. Oh, I called this one. Was I not like if I was going to pull anything? Eevee, Flareon, Alternate Charizard. This, I'm putting this down as the best box I've ever opened as my first one ever. Brilliant Stars isn't even out yet, and I'm pulling every card that I want to get. If I got a booster case, like, I'd be hunting for maybe the Rainbow Rare V-Star Charizard. Like, let's be honest, this is so crazy. I'm such, I'm such a Pokemon card nerd that, like, well, uh, like tonight, when I'm watching him, I don't know, I sit down, watch TV shows, or trying to unwind for the day. I, like, put these in my binder, and I just flick through my binder, and I look at them. I look at the cards, and that's, like, one of them I would stare at and go, wow, I can't believe I pulled that. Probably, that's probably the biggest nerd thing ever, but I'm sorry. That's just something I love doing. And it's cards like that that just stand out in my binder that I am genuinely so proud that I pulled. And I didn't like, you know, some cards you buy and like, I have the same thing. I look at them like, wow, good purchase, Ando. But like the fact we pulled that, same with the Charizard. Man, I do love that Flareon though. It is on, for me, it's on the same level as the Charizard. All right, what are we going to get? I'm not really fussed. I'm not, I don't really care at this point. Like, I could just get nothing out of these packs and whatever. I am so happy with what we got today. Even the Kindler. Who cares? So, two full odds per box? Bro. Bro. This isn't even real life. I've also got to open this set again. Because let's be honest, if my luck is this so, so good, what, what else could I get? So if I get a booster case, what do you reckon? 10,000 likes on today's video. Uncle Ando, he buys a booster case. Let's do that. I love my booster case openings. Oh no, the cards fell, the cards fell. They're getting too heavy. I'm just gonna put them right there. Okay, you don't have to stand up, guys. So yeah, I think like, that, that should explain everything. Usually we can, what the heck is with this advertisement? Don't know, it trips me out. Okay, V-Star, you go to the side. I don't think that means anything Let's see if we get a character rare. But usually the recap can stand up by itself with a booster box. And look at this. Our booster box has made everything fall down. That's how heavy the recap is right now. It's a hollow. Again, I don't really see any correlation with that V-Star advertisement. Even though that's a hollow, like, I don't think that meant that, that meant we were going to get a hollow. It's tripping me out. <laughs> Uncle Ender doesn't understand. Alright, have you noticed every code card has this same scuffing? Almost like it got printed with the scuff on there. So they photocopied. So it looks like this was a photocopy, right? And then this scuffing right here... 
accidentally photocopied with the <laughs> go guard, which is so random. That's the weirdest thing ever. And you can tell these uh, energies are miscut too. So it may be a bit of a rush job. I don't know. Again, I'm always open. If Pokemon want to invite me to the Pokemon card factory for a tour, it, oh yes, nice! I was gonna say it might be the greatest day of my life, but let's be honest, I'm having that day right now. Dustnor character rare. It's gorgeous! These character rares are so good! Dustnor is a legend. And again, he's in the new game, so like, it's sticking with the theme to let you like, want to play the game more, collect the cards all at the same time. Wow, okay, Dustnor character rare, you got the back. And we're gonna Breloom. Alright, we're winding up. We've got about five boosters left after this one. And then we'll do a recap because I know you want to see that Charizard again. And trust me, I do too. But I also am just as intrigued as to what possibly else could be in the... <gasps> Was it? Was there a bulk card? No, it did. No, 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 no. Terrible. The fairy. No. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Holy ultra mimer! I'm not gonna jump in the Pikachu because I don't want to dent this thing. Are you kidding me? There is no way. There is no way this is an actual booster box. Call the police, Tim Tam. I'm going there. Holy snooks! There is no way this is actually a normal ratio for a booster box right now. Holy smokes! It is Galarian Moltres V full of gold card, and I'm 190 Aurora Burn. You see the shake? This is. <laughs> no one's gonna believe me. Oh my god. So coming coming off the god box and opening this, it's more exciting this because this is legit, like, not a broken box. Okay, so I, I swear these are like, the gold cards must be randomly inserted because there is no way they're giving you two ultra ridiculous rares, like a Charizard art and a Galarian Gold and a full art uh, trainer that we got before, the Kindler. This is insanity. Golden Galarian Moltres V. Oh my gosh, okay. I am so excited to upload this and show you guys. Like, can I share this video around to like everyone? This is insane. I've never uploaded a video this crazy. All right. I just pulled a gold card, golden Galarian Moltres, and a Alt Art Charizard out of the one box. Out of. Okay, all right, all right. So, say we only got those two cards. The box would be crazy enough. But then. Let's think about what character rares we got. Eevee, which is just ridiculous, and a Flareon. I, I'm pretty lucky with Pokemon cards, but let's be honest. Ice Coup, Legend. I think my luck's peaked. I think it's just kind of, I'm on a roller coaster and like I've used all nine lights. It generally, I just can't think of it getting any better than it has from today. Far out. No way this actually... There is another hit. There is another hit. And I just... I don't know if I saw Spark Ward. Ugh, might be a V. Okay, let's have a look. We're not done yet. Three boosters after this one, by the way, guys. Yep, it's 100% a hit. I can see the V logo. It doesn't look like a full art, though. Impidim, Staryu. There's a lot of V cards to get. Like an Agron. Wow, okay. Still slap a Ruskies to try and find, ladies and gentlemen, you know? Like, <laughs> this is just, this is too much. I am clocked out for the day. I want to save a Charizard till last. Actually, I want to save Arceus till last, Charizard second to last, Whimsicott. Can I bring up as well? Can I just bring up real quick? I haven't got a V-Star yet. This whole step, it's running commercials during my episodes of Power Rangers on the weekend. It's running commercials that are advertising the new V-Star here. It's like, they're the wow, that's what you're gonna buy this set for. We haven't got one. Did they like wrongly pack this box full of like absolute slapper and just not put in the uh, V-Stars? Corefish, Magma, Burmy. Oh, hello, Moltres as the Hollow. Didn't we just pull that? Okay, Moltres right there. And let's go. We got second to last pack, it's Charizard. I hope you're staying with me right now. I am. I'd say I'm exhausted, but I'm actually not. I could probably keep going. I'm, I'm like just adrenaline, just running pure emotion right now. 
Darkness. Barry again. Shout out to my boy Barry. Such a basic name for such a big character. I love Barry. <laughs> Usually got complicated, hard to read names, but that's straight up. Shout out to Barry. That's a regular rare. Okay. This is it. The final pack out of a box that belongs in the local museum. Sorry, God Box. Boom! Just, you're going away. You're not going in the local museum. I've got a new crown to put on this thing. I think this might. Ah, oh, I was gonna say, I think it might be something. It could be a character rare. But it, it's interesting we didn't get a V Star, isn't it? This whole thing's been fascinating. Okay, Probopolis, Team Yelchir, Marnie, Sneasel. There are a lot of cards we could have got, actually. Electabuzz, Chimeco, Friends in Gala. And we're gonna end it with a regular rare. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? Let's have a recap and find out how good that booster box actually was. Oh my goodness me, guys. Is everybody sitting down? Is everybody ready for the recap right here of Brilliant Stars? This booster box right here, absolutely fantastic. I love this set. I knew I already would love this set before opening it just because of the amount of variety that was included, whether it be a Charizard, an Arceus, gold cards, or character rares. Like, they're all fantastic options and... I think no matter what we got in this box, it was going to be awesome. But it just got like, I don't understand how it just got crazier and crazier. How did we get an alternate art Charizard and a gold card, plus all of these hits? So we didn't end up getting a crazy amount of uh, hollows or V cards, but in the moment, it definitely felt like we did. So what are we dealing with here? Looks like about six or seven holo cards. Pretty decent, not overwhelming. Then the character rares right here. So we got our creamy, looks fantastic. Got that Dust Noir. I love the colors. These are probably the best colored cards. And look at this. It looks so good. That Eevee is just pristine. But if there's one card that's better than the Eevee, it's an Eeveelution. But it can't be just any Eeveelution. Let it be the Flareon. Isn't it like that's like the evolution right there? Look at that. It's just like the whole progression of life has happened in that card as well. Flareon looks so good. Definitely awesome. I am a huge fan of that card. Hopefully you guys are as well. Everyone's favorite fish to go on the fish and chips. Got the Zarud as a bit of a surprise. I didn't really think he was in this set. Then we got Shaman with the weird eyes. And we got Dracovish V card. Oh, and Agron too. What a random insertion. Then, three fuller cards per box. Which I guess seems probably right with this many fuller cards in the set. But they, it's like the first time they've been pretty lenient with those pulls. Yeah? So we got Kindler Trainer Full Art. Mind blowing. That's pretty cool. That's probably on the more common side of the full light cards, but hey, wow. I'm not not complaining at all here. Got the Kindler, and check this out. We got a full art Galarian Moltres V card. Golden. It's full of golden textured and everything. But the thing that gets crazier, what gets better than that? None other than an alternate Charizard V card full art. That is how I'm ending the video. Let me know what you think of uh, Brilliant Stars. Forgot what it was called for a second in the comment section below. Have a fantastic day. Best of luck to everyone at home when you open up this set. Click subscribe, demolish the like button. If we get enough likes, I'm opening a whole case. Like, I don't care. If you're excited about the set as me, let's do it. Let's open some more stuff. Until next time, keep on gaming. I'll see you then, guys.